Greetings. Um, here we have a problem where we want to calculate the enthalpy of reaction of C2H4 plus H2 to form C2H6. We have um, some molar enthalpies of combustion, the molar enthalpy of combustion of oxygen, C2H4-ethylene, or C2H6-ethane. Um, here are their energies, minus 286, minus 1411, and minus 1516. What we have up on the right is an energy diagram. And what I want to do is show you how to quickly solve this, and then also correlate it to Hess's law and the, law, um, and the um, first law of thermodynamics, conservation of energy. So the quick way to solve this is first write out the equation you want and draw a line underneath it. Then you need data for each and every one of these species. And then you have to write the equations in a manner that they add up to the equation you want. So we need an equation with C2H4. I come over here. I have an equation with C2H4. So I'm going to simply write this underneath this. I have C2H4 plus 3O2 forms 2H2O plus 2CO2. And this is written the way it is. I haven't multiplied it by any factors, so the energy associated with this is equal to minus 1411 kilojoules, um, and that's per mole of this. Now, I go to the next species, hydrogen. I have one equation with hydrogen, so that needs to be here. If I had another equation with hydrogen, I would do this one later, okay? But since there's only one equation with hydrogen, I know I must use this equation, and it must be written this way. So I have H2 plus 1 half O2 forms H2O. And this was a minus 286 kilojoules, OK? Now, one thing. If I look up there on the right, the top part showed the hydrogen and the half oxygen forming water. And we dropped um, 286 kilojoules. Then below that, we have the C2H4 reacting with three oxygens, forming two waters and two. And we dropped 1411. So these two steps, we had a total drop of 1,697 kilojoules that was released to the environment. Now, notice that in the process, we started with um, one mole of C2H4, three halves moles of O2, and one mole of H2. And what we're going to see on the left side is that we're going to remake those. And so, we're so as we broke these apart, and then remade them coming back up. The energy lost as we broke them apart, the 1,697 kilojoules, must be the energy released, absorbed, as we brought them, rebuilt them, OK? Now let's get back to balancing this, OK? I now need C286. This is over here. It's a reactant here. It's a product here. So I have to write it backwards, OK? which means that I change the sign. If going this way, it's exothermic by 1,560. Going this way, it's endothermic. So now I'm going to react the two CO2s that I had created, um, plus the three uh, H2Os that I had created. And I'm going to make. C2H6 plus 3 halves O2, OK? Now, if I add these equations up, OK, I will get the equation I want, all right? So I come over here, and I have a C2H4. I have no C2H4s on this side, so I write down C2H4. Now I have one, two, three and a half oxygens here. I have three and a half O2s there. So I would typically cancel those out. I'll just draw a red line through them. And I, have, um, I haven't had any. I have one hydrogen here, no hydrogens there. So I have a plus an H2. Now um, I have two CO2s here, two CO2s there. So those cancel. I have three waters here. And I have one, two, three waters there. Those cancel. So what is left is my C2H6. 
Now in this step, because I wrote it backwards, I had to write the energy as a positive 1,560. And so when I add these up, um, I come up with a value of minus one, three, um, six kilojoules. Okay, and that's per mole of this, per mole of this, and per mole of this because the coefficients are all one. Now what I want you to notice in the diagram over there is that when I went from here to here, I created C286, okay? And then, it, and, and I wrote that in blue in the image because the C286 becoming this was the opposite reaction of this reaction, but I had to add that. So what I'm trying to say is, is if I go over to the energy diagram and I add each of the steps, the first step goes down, it released um, 1, 286 kilojoules. The second step goes down, it released 1,144. When I go to the third step, I added 1,560, and the difference to go back to my original reactants had to go up to that step, which would have been 136, okay? So this is a result of conservation of energy in that I started at the beginning of my cycle with one hydrogen, three and a half oxygens, and one C2H4, the white elements on the right side of the diagram. I then reacted those, finally ending up with two CO2 and three H2O, the yellow stuff on the right. Then I took those two CO2s and three H2Os on the left and reacted them, ending up with three and a half oxygens, two C2H4, and H2, which is exactly what I started with. So the total change in energy had to be zero, and I have what we could call an energy cycle, okay?